legendary meatball sandwich, we head next to Midlothian, Illinois. And out here, the meatball sandwich is huge. Literally. Located 20 miles south of Chicago, this Midwestern town is home to an Italian family eatery where they serve a mammoth 10-pound meatball sub. Feast your eyes on Bartolini's, where beefy brothers Christopher and Dominic Bartolini challenge their hungriest patrons to take their balls of meat to the max. It is definitely worth the six-hour drive to come to Bartolini's to eat this meatball sub. They have the best, most flavorful, awesomest meatballs. When it comes to meatballs, we're the pros. Ah! Our meatball recipe comes from our grandfather and my mom's dad. And what we do special was that we use Toronto bread, we soak it in water, and then we press it, which makes our meatballs nice, fluffy, and give a nice bite to them. These meatball pros are trained chefs who put their money where your mouth is by betting customers can't finish one of their tremendous 10-pound meatball sandwiches. Think you've got what it takes? Before you get elbows deep in Bartolini's orbs of beef and pork, you may want to take a closer look at what you're up against. Everything has to equal 10 pounds, so everything on the sandwich is weighed out to be equal. So we do 42 ounce meatballs, which is 5 pounds, a pound and a half of red gravy, do one pound of the sweet peppers, a pound and a half of mozzarella cheese, and then the Toronto bread, which is going to be one pound. 10 pounds all day, kids. 15 minutes in the oven, and this three foot long mega sub is ready to take on any and all meatball munchers. Devour this legendary behemoth by yourself in three hours or less, and it's free. Fail, and you'll have to fork over 40 bucks for the meaty monster. To you, family, here's your 10-pound meatball challenge. But as daunting as it is, there are plenty eager to take the challenge. And the Bartolinis have graciously opened the challenge to teams. But can a family of seven succeed? It's a gluttonous game on. One, two, three. Eat crew. The U crew starts out promisingly enough. But this family is bested by the meatball mission impossible. I think there's eight still in there. Sandwich one, you crew zero. Time to bring in the just take down this meatball mammoth. We're here to, to beat the three man challenge. The time is 17 minutes and some odd seconds right now. With a uh, uh, heck of a team right here, we're gonna try to walk this baby down. Eight, eight, three, two, one, meatball. That's a meatball beatdown. Not interested in the whole sandwich and just want to get your protein on for a big prize money? Bartolini's ups the ante with their annual meatball eating championship. Contestants get seven minutes to chow down in front of a cheering crowd. Who likes meatballs? We're at the seventh annual meatball eating championship. And we're so excited that everybody comes out. All right, boys, ready? Three, two, one, meatball! When people do come to do it, they are the top of the world. They are running with it. Next thing you know, they start hitting what they call the meatball. And the meatball, they start getting the meat shakes. And the meat shakes come with a sign of the meat sweats. At the end of seven minutes of meatball madness, a winner is crowned. 
taking home the trophy and some fat cash. $2,500. This year's new champ, Jamie the Bear McDonald. 45 meatballs in seven minutes. Contestant or customer, the Bartolini brothers are happy to feed your meatball habit year-round. Between their meatball challenge, meatball appetizer, meatball pizza, meatball pasta, and even a meatball omelet, Bartolini's rolls and doles out more than 250 pounds of porky, beefy balls each week. We get a lot of compliments on our balls. People love our meatballs. They're nice, they're juicy, and they're quite large. The Bartolini meatball, probably the best meatball I've ever had. When I take that meatball and I put it in my mouth, I just close my eyes and I picture a nice sandy beach with a big old palm tree. It makes me happy.